22. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. I am feeling very, very, very sluggish this morning. Like, super sluggish. So, definitely gonna need a pre-workout for today's workout. So, pre-workout is this buffed up BAMF Black in the flavor Candy Shop. Love this flavor, y'all. This flavor and also the Welcome to Miami flavor, which I think we have. Yeah, this Welcome to Miami flavor are my number one go-tos right now. I freaking love these. So I'm gonna be taking this in my pre-workout and then I'm going to be, of course, y'all know I freaking rave about how good these taste. I'm gonna be taking the PMD BCAs in the flavor Fun on the Beach. Again, if y'all have not tried this, y'all need to go try it because it's so good. I did get a question, and I think it was last week's vlog or the vlog before, um, about the difference between BCAs and pre-workouts. And I was like, you know what? This would be perfect for me to talk about in this week's vlog because I know, you know, quite a few of y'all may have the same question as well. So we're about to get into the difference between the two because I feel like it's important for y'all to know, and then y'all can decide for yourselves, you know, which one would be a better fit for you or, you know, if you think you need to take both. Okay, so when it comes to BCAs, BCA stands for branch chain amino acids. Now, this consists of a group of essential amino acids that your body does not naturally, you know, produce on its own. So that means in order to get them, you either have to one, you know, consume them in your food or you have to drink them via BCAs that provide them. You'll see people drinking and using BCAs differently. Some people drink their BCA before the workout, during the workout, after the workout, or they'll just kind of alternate in between. I'm one of those people I have drank BCAs at various points, tried different methods of drinking them. Sometimes I'll still drink BCAs during my workout, just depends, but for me, my preferred time to drink BCAs is right after my workout. I prefer drinking my BCAs right after my workout, one, because you know, honestly, I don't like drinking a lot of liquids during my workout. I know you're supposed to hydrate. I make sure I do it before, but during my workout, I don't like to drink a lot of liquids because I always feel heavy. I get that like loose water feeling in my belly. I don't like that. <laughs> so I really don't, you know, I would prefer just not drinking a lot of liquids during my workout. So I drink my BCAs right after. One, it's gonna help, you know, really with muscle recovery, help you not feel as sore after your workout, help you not feel as tired, you know, sluggish during your workout, make sure you're getting those amino acids that's gonna help with your muscle building. And just overall, it's just providing some of the nutrients, the amino acids that you need to build muscle. Now, of course, BCAs do have other benefits when it comes to weight loss, but their primary reason for use um, is really to help with muscle building, muscle recovery. Now, on the other side, when it comes to your pre-workout, pre-workout, the reason why it's here is for energy. It has no you know, real nutritional value, nutritional benefit when it comes to muscle building. Its main goal is to give you that energy burst that you need to get through your workout. So for me, I prefer to take a pre-workout before my workout because y'all know my workouts are typically really intense. I like to go hard, I like to push myself, and sometimes I just need that extra boost of energy before my workout just to get me going and get me in the groove because once I'm started, I'm good to go. You know. I can finish it. I'm pumped. I'm motivated. My music is going. I'm ready. But sometimes, you know, I just need to get it going. And the pre workout does that for me. Also, typically, because a pre workout's main purpose is to give you that energy, you're going to see, you know, more elevated levels of B12 in there, vitamin B12, caffeine, just depending on if your pre workout has caffeine or not. It's just gonna have a higher value of some type of energy booster within a pre-workout. BCAs, on the other hand, yes, they do have some energy booster as well, but typically they aren't going to be as high as what you'd find in a pre-workout. So I guess you can look at it like your pre-workout is you putting the key in the ignition and turning that bad boy up, cranking that engine. It's gonna get you going, get you ready to start your workout, okay? Your BCAs, on the other hand, it's almost like you 
putting your car in cruise control to where it's just keeping you going, making sure you're not burning out, making sure you're not getting super tired during your workout. It's gonna keep giving you that energy boost and keep giving you those amino acids that's going to help with that. And then also you're gonna have that extra benefit of, you know, assisting with your muscle recovery, assisting with muscle building. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the difference on like a super broad surface level scale. <laughs> So hopefully that makes sense because yeah, I mean, there's so many benefits for BCAs. Um, so if you don't have one, I definitely recommend you do, especially if you are doing a lot of strength training, weightlifting. Um, yeah, so many benefits. Pre-workout, it's just energy. Think of it like caffeine, coffee. Some people don't even take pre-workout. They just drink coffee in the morning because it's strictly energy. So hopefully that made sense. I hope I broke it down in a way that's easy to understand, uh, but yeah. Thanks for attending class today, and let's get to the gym. Yeah, ain't sweet, ain't funny. Look, it's blue tints on my hundreds. Life been going how I want it, yeah. Life been lit just how I want it, yeah, yeah. Now she talking like she want me, yeah. Hey, wave. Look, life been lit just how I want it. I got a little like stress. I be finessing, throw low in my section, built like a blessing. I look like stressing, I be finessing, got my muscle flexing, my money stretching. Yeah, ain't sweet, ain't funny. Look, it's blue tints on my hundreds. Life been going how I want it. Yeah. Big bands like a main event, already paid the rent. Feeling like winning my favorites. Boy, I was made for this. Flex mode on gym rat. I been that young legend, oh. Them boys came with it. I ain't shy. I'ma let them know. All of my just be multiples of 10. I'm fit to win, uh. All of my be comfortable with sins from his to gin, uh. Be hating because I've been balling and they gotta ride the bench again. Ain't gotta wonder. I know when she calling that she trying to ride that again. Keep it a C no. Cause it's D League, they could be more. I brought the A game, gripping them B cups by the seashore. Filling up my rubber band, 100 band, I need that. Big dog, no small bark, I'm cool on your feedback. Yeah, ain't sweet, ain't funny. Look, it's blue tints on my hundreds. Life been going how I want it. Yeah. Got a little like stressing. <laughs> I be finessing. Yeah. No low in my section. Hey. Built like a blessing. That team. Got a little like stressing. Wave. Life been going how I Got want it. Got my muscle yeah. flexing. Any tent on the skin, I feel like a 10 out of 10. If you hearing it, got in the plan. If not, that somebody been watching the kid. I made it out of a jam. I got some ribbons in front of me blocking. You stuck watching life in the stands. I know that you sick. The drink got me thin. I won't fold under pressure. I'm young and I'm reckless. I'm all the way in it. You see that I'm more than expected. My mind is a treasure. I get it. I get it. Deposit come from overseas. My coin up. I'm the bag boy. Yeah, I told bread for the sound click. Pretty thing. Quick to crack a smile for me. Yeah, I gave it that joystick. I bet the pin with no matters before then I'm copping a mo with the palace. I'm out of the street, it's been a jet. I used to be broke, I'm up a few chips, you can tell by the drip. Ain't nobody telling me, tell me, tell me. Don't smile for the flick, you know what it is. <laughs> ain't sweet, ain't yeah. funny. Look, it's blue tints on my hundreds. Life been going how I want it. Yeah. Life been lit just how I want it. Yeah, yeah. Now she talking like she want me, yeah. Ayy. Look, life been lit just how I want it. Got a little like stressing. Don't low in my section. Got my money flexing. Got a little like stressing. Life been going how I want it. Got a little like stressing. With the power that we have, what they are most. People don't understand. I need oxygen. Y'all, look at this. Look at me. <laughs> 
I'm regaining. <laughs> Y'all, I look a mess. What is this? I'm so tired, girl. That workout. Y'all already know how I feel about outside workouts. They, if you don't work out outside, please go to your park. Go outside where it's some place that is open. You're not going to be all up on somebody. You got room to breathe. Go outside and get you a workout in because... It's like your body goes overdrive when you're outside. Like, I feel like I work out 15 times harder outside than I do in the gym. It is crazy, but it makes sense. <sighs> Y'all, I'm so tired. Today might be a Kodiak day. I might need to have some Kodiak cakes. I had a full bottle. I'm already halfway through. Let me gather myself. And I'll be right back with y'all. I had to just go ahead and change my shirt because when I tell you my sports bra was freaking soaked, like soaked, okay? So I'm about to get ready to make me some breakfast. I know I look crazy right now. Oh, I feel like I've been looking crazy off vlog, but anyways, I'm about to get ready to make me something to eat. I won't, don't even want to say breakfast because it's not breakfast time. I mentioned to y'all that I think I was gonna want some Koyak cakes. Um, but I don't y'all I am craving some ground turkey tacos, but Random Don't judge me It's okay if you do judge me cuz I don't care <laughs> But I am also craving some Eggs scrambled eggs scrambled hard. So I am going to be having ground turkey tacos a side of scrambled eggs and some chips, some blue corn chips. That's what I'm craving, that's what I want, getting my carbs, my proteins in there, and my fats for my eggs. So, random, I know, but if y'all have been around for a minute, y'all know my taste buds are super random, like I eat the weirdest things together, so this spot to be good to me. It might not work for you, but yeah, Kodiaks are not going to be the move today. Maybe tomorrow, but I'm tired. I still have my headphones on. I need to take these off. I'm actually listening to a podcast right now. Um, Y'all know I'm very big on listening to podcasts, motivational speeches, all that stuff. Let me get these eggs going because your girl needs to eat. I'm also really quick about to just go ahead and drink one of these Fairlife protein shakes. Again, heavy, heavy, heavy on the protein. Not too heavy because my mom's a nurse and she actually was telling me like too much, too much protein isn't really the best for your liver, I believe she said. So yeah, not overdoing it with the protein, but definitely, you know, high up there. So have one of these, get ready to eat my ground turkey tacos. Not a care in the world. Let me just tell y'all, if you do not have some type of headband wig, you need to get you one. I've actually been getting a lot of questions about, you know, the hair that I've been having on in my past vlogs. So I'm like, you know what, let me just go ahead and tell y'all because honestly, it wasn't like a secret. Y'all know I'll tell y'all, but I could not even remember really what the hair was and I wanted to make sure I got it right for y'all. So this hair that I have in now is more relaxed and tame than the hair that I was wearing in my Shan Power episode one video where I got a lot of questions about the hair. So this hair is by Beauty Forever and I believe it's their Malaysian curly hair. All of them are wigs that I made myself y'all. It wasn't a pre-bought wig or anything like that. I made it myself. They're actually frontal wigs. Like this is a frontal. It's a frontal wig. I just pushed the frontal back and put a headband on it. They're not designated headband wigs that already have the headband attached to them. Um, I just make it into my own headband wig pretty much. Like that's all I do. I put bobby pins in there. I put a headband on it and that's what we do. So hopefully don't nobody come up and grab my hair. I try to, you know, it's secure. But you know what I'm saying? It's not like combs and all that stuff to where it's like super tied down to my head, you know? So yes, this is that hair. The hair from the Shea Empowered episode one video, that is the 
clay-y hair. Also, that's a frontal wig that I made. And then sometimes to create like these little ringlets here that y'all see, I just use a little small barrel curling iron, curl it, boom. That's really what I do. Headband wigs have been like the best thing for my hair because y'all know I'm always working out. I don't have time, you know, to be doing styles unless they're braids because they don't last. I sweat a lot in my head, so I just make sure at night I'm oiling my scalp, you know, moisturizing, sealing, all that good stuff. With that being that I am wearing a lot of like headband wigs, I wanna make sure I am keeping my edges. So I do a lot of like oil massages around my edges just to make sure they're moisturized, not dry because I need them not to snap off, okay? So that is pretty much the hair deets. Y'all know the short curly hair. <laughs> And it sounds so crazy because I feel like my hair is always under some type of wig or something. And honestly, that just works for my lifestyle. If I could wear braids all the time, I would. But again, edges, I wanna keep those. And y'all know braids, as much as I love braids, they can wreak havoc on some edges if you wear them too often. So I like to give my hair breaks. And when I am, I'm either wearing my hair or headband wig, some type of wig is what I'm doing. But also too, the short curly um, wig that I wear, that's like my gym wig. <laughs> that is hair from years ago, y'all. At this point, it's probably almost a decade that I've had that hair. I bought so much of that hair almost 10 years ago, just reusing it, going back to back, and I would always save it, like wash it and keep it. So that is the Boheme Brazilian hair and at the time it was at the beauty supply store. They don't even sell that anymore in the store I think I looked it up one day on the internet to see if I could like find it to pro you know Try to purchase a new pack and girl It was like 200 something for a pack of 12 inches and it was nowhere near that price back in the day Okay, so I definitely love me a good headband wig especially just with Having an active lifestyle, I like for my hair to look good, to be, you know, just looking nice. And again, I sweat a lot in my head during my workouts and styles just don't last. And I don't want to wear a lot of ponytails and slick backs and tight styles. So, yeah, this just worked for me. So, if you are interested in that hair, um, yeah, look them up. I think those, those companies are on AliExpress. You can find them there. But yeah, that is the hair deep. So anyone wanting to know, that's the tea, sis. Also, I know, I know, y'all forgive me. Don't be mad at me, but I know I told y'all this week that I was going to be showing y'all my measurements. Well, in my head, how my head thinks, I'm like, you know what? Next week is the start of September. You know, we're going to be hitting September 1st, a new month. Y'all know, typically at the beginning of the month, I like to try to do things, little challenges in my head. Even if I don't post a challenge or make it public, I'm pretty much always doing some type of challenge on my end, in my head. I just love challenges that keep me just on board. But in September, I am planning to do something for the month of September. So I'm like, I kind of want to save my measurements like do a official measurement video um for the start of september which is perfect because it just it just makes sense to me you know so yeah for the month of september i'm cooking up something um so i want to go ahead and do my measurements then so stay tuned for another week i'll be doing that next week for y'all matter of fact when is the first let me see. Okay, so the first is on Wednesday, which is perfect. So I'll have measurements for y'all in next week's vlog. Um, but yeah, don't be mad at me. Forgive me. It's just how my mind thinks, y'all. It's just like first of month, new measurements. It just, it just goes together. Y'all know I have a sweet tooth, okay? Now, a few vlogs back, I showed y'all the keto mint bars that I've been loving, but... Ironically enough, I went to the store and they were completely sold out. Literally, every one of their flavors was gone, like gone. So I guess everybody caught on to them as well. As an alternative, I end up finding the keto chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. This is just obviously in the pint. So I'm gonna end up trying this for this 
pint of ice cream it has three grams of net carbs which is great but obviously you know y'all know with keto anything you're going to be getting a higher amount of fats in there it's going to have pretty much a lot of sugar alcohols because that's how it's getting that you know carb amount that net carb amount down to such a low number because you're always going to subtract your sugar alcohols and dietary fiber from the total carbohydrate amount that it shows on that nutrition label and did y'all hear Harlow crying for his toy? <laughs> I am going to be trying this out. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and try it out now. And with this keto ice cream, y'all, you have to make sure you're letting it thaw out a little bit. If you go ahead and immediately try to scoop into it right after you take it out the freezer, it's going to like crumble up on you and it's not gonna be like in that ice cream texture, okay? so. Let me, now obviously I just took this out the freezer. So yeah, yeah, y'all see like, it's kind of crumbling up because it's not thawed out. Mm. It is good though, I'm gonna let that thaw a little bit. But I've also been loving these Enlightened Keto um, ice cream bars as a substitute. I didn't know if I was gonna like this, but this is in the vanilla double dough flavor. And this has one grams of net carbs, zero grams of added sugar per ice cream bar, which is great as well. Now, if you are someone who, you know, is not too big on sugar alcohols and things like that, then stay away from keto because they're gonna have sugar alcohols in there, especially if it's like something like ice cream that's intended to be sweet, how they make up for that sweetness is via the use of sugar alcohol. But yeah, I have a sweet tooth like right now and I don't wanna wait for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and have one of these bars. And this is how those look just to show y'all, but y'all they're so good. So good. You get a good amount of ice cream on here. It's nothing too crazy, but it's enough to curb that sweet tooth. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good, y'all. Also, y'all, side note, I really want to do a Q&A for the first September. What? I really want to do a Q&A in the month of September. It'll be my first Q&A on my channel where y'all have actually asked me questions and I answer them. So, if y'all have any questions that you want answered by me, uh, definitely leave them down below in the comments, y'all, because one, clearly y'all know I love to talk, and I never done one before, and I feel like September would be the perfect month to do so. Obviously, I'll post about it on the community tab on my Instagram as well. So, if you made it to this part of the video, first of all, you a real one for watching this long because some people be clicking away. <laughs> But no, you're a real one. So first, thank you for watching me. Thank you for supporting me. Um, but if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments for your girl, okay? I am gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. My ice cream is melting. Um, I'm still trying to recover from my workout, the outside workout, because girl, it did your girl in, okay? so. I hope y'all enjoy. As always, have a good weekend. Hope y'all ready for September. Like I said, challenge coming soon. Challenge coming next week. Stay on the lookout for that. Um, but until next time, y'all know what to do. Take care and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, girl. Beautiful. All your flaws are perfect. You should let them show the things I love the most. I don't know what you see, but I see all of you.